this treatment has done great justice to my hair guys it definitely works 100 percent hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back if you are returning and you're welcome if this is your first time here so alongside other good hair care practices i've been using all natural ingredients and recipes to help my hair grow longer and thicker and they have been working great for me so in today's video i'll be sharing one of such recipes which has really done justice to my hair and i believe will do the same for your hair if you if you use it consistently okay this recipe is a hair growth treatment which will help to treat your scalp it will help with hair thinning it will help your hair to grow longer and thicker and it will just leave your hair more beautiful for this you are going to need two ingredients which are bay leaves and cloves bay leaves can be used to fight bacterial and fungal infections they can treat dandruff and also dry and itchy scalps they can help to stop hair loss and also helps the hair to grow so my dear do not sleep on bay leaves okay Cloves also helps in protecting the scalp against dandruff. They also help in strengthening, growing and thickening the hair. So this combo is not to be taken lightly. Alright, let's get into the preparation phase. First thing first, wash your bay leaves. You can use uh, fresh or dry bay leaves. I couldn't lay my hands on the fresh ones, so I'm using the dry bay leaves. They all work the same. Thoroughly wash your bay leaves and bring them to a pot of boiling water. I don't think there is any excess to bay leaves, okay? So you can use any quantity. So you can eyeball the leaves according to how much of the leave in spray you want to make. You can make this a spray and leave it in your fridge for up to two weeks. Add the leaves to your pot and under medium heat, let that cook for 25 minutes. As it cooks, add a little amount of cloves. This will depend on the quantity of the leaving spray you're making. I added about half a tablespoon of cloves because I made this to use just for one week. After 25 minutes, let it cool down for a little while, then you transfer everything into a container that has a lid. Or, if you have a heat resistant container, you can transfer it immediately as you take it off from the fire. Put everything into the container and cover it. And by everything I mean the water, the bay leaves and the cloves. Just put everything in a container and leave it for 24 hours to set properly. If you look closely, you'll notice that the water is a little bit clear, like there is not so much change with the color. So you have to leave it for 24 hours to increase the potency of your leave-in spray. And 24 hours later, you'll notice that the color change has intensified. The bay leaves and the cloves have properly infused into the water. Go ahead and strain out your bay leaves and clove a uh, hair growth treatment. And like I said earlier, you can refrigerate this treatment and use it for two weeks. If you leave it out of the fridge, it will only last for two to three days and it will go bad. You can either use this hair growth treatment as a leave-in spray or you can use it to rinse your hair on wash days. I used it as a leave-in spray in this video. If this is your first time here or you are returning and have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe okay? When applying this treatment, spray it on your scalp and pay particular attention to problem areas if you have them. Also spray on your hair for moisture sake. Massage or work the treatment into your hair. After that, 
go in with a leave-in cream or butter so whenever you use a, a water-based hair treatment always go in with a leave-in cream and or butter it will help to keep your hair moisturized for long you can use this hair growth spray two to three times a week as of the time I'm creating this video, we are gradually getting into the dry season in Cameroon. So one minute your hair is moisturized and the next minute it's so dry. So it's very important to, to make use of creams and butters. And after the leave-in cream or butter, you should go in with an oil to seal in that moisture. In this video, I am making use of one of my DIY hair growth oils and a DIY hair butter which I made purposely for the dry season. I will be sharing that recipe with you subsequently. You can then follow this up with a scalp massage. If you do this consistently, I am sure that you will definitely start seeing results in no time. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do give it a thumbs up and if you have questions, leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, I will see you in another video. Bye bye.